The views and opinions expressed on From the Mouths of Madness are that of the panel and not of the Geeks Under the Influence Network or their sponsors. Listeners, beware. Coming straight from the Mouths of Madness, I am Lowdown, with me as always is... F you, Hunter. What's up, you, uh, I don't know, home alone, taking out bitches? Oh, she, did, she didn't set up, like, traps. There's a few traps. Eh, there's one. Yeah. There's one. I'm just saying, like, are you thirsty for some more? She could have fucking said that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Are you done? Are you thirsty for some <laughs> more? more? Come get me, motherfucker. So, you're right. Not as much, but... There was one. Yeah. Violent Night had more home alone set up than this did. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean... I guess it'd be more of a janitor John McClane. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say I, I would say it's definitely more die hard than home alone. Kind of dealing with it at the time of the situation instead exactly. of Exactly. I'll give you that. What can I do with the seat of my pants? Yeah. You know, that kind of thing. Uh so tonight on the chopping block, we're talking about the twenty twenty three film Hunt Her Kill Her. Now I was gonna say Hunter Kill Her. But you but gotta be careful with it. Yeah. It's Hunt, Hunt Her, Kill Hunt Her. Hunt Her, Kill Her. Exactly. Yeah. But that that, uh, that was that's the whole was uh, I believe I'm saying it right, double entendre. Yeah, because there's a movie literally called Hunter killer exactly so you gotta separate you gotta separate that little gap yeah, hunt yeah. her kill, kill her. her and uh before we dig into that film first i gotta i gotta ask everybody please like comment subscribe share rate review on everywhere you get your uh, podcasts uh on social media across the board we greatly appreciate it it helps us out you know it's take a couple seconds for you to click that button type in shows awesome i don't give a fuck just whatever you know like i mean i don't care or show sucks tell us the show sucks okay yeah. cool i'll take that too yeah we'll, we'll take criticism yeah we'll we ain't gonna it. find you where you live and you know yeah well easy easy motherfuckers tell miss no no easy that's not that's still admissible in, not, that, that's not a, <laughs> how's that how do i say that i'm fucking up i don't know uh, admissible they can use it in court there yeah. you go your honor <laughs> he said he was coming after me exactly i say he gave him one star exactly <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? But no, we greatly appreciate you. Thank you, everybody. And now we're going to go into hunt her, kill her. <laughs> so I got to say, man, like this film, like the tra- the Red Band trailer, I was like in. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. This is going to yeah. be some high tension shit. And I mean, it obviously the trailer was cut to make it more high tension than the film was. I'm not saying the film wasn't high tension, but it definitely wasn't as high tension as the trailer led to be because they had to build the story and then as everything's happening, there's a little more, but, there's more time there's, in between stuff. But once it starts rolling, there's not a lot of downtime. I'll give you no, that. No, 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 there's and not. that I appreciate. No, there's like, not, no. So I'm saying there's still tension. It's just yeah. the trailer made it seem a lot more fast-paced, but this is definitely more of like a burglar, cat and mouse, die hard esque type of thing yeah. where it's more like there's this giant warehouse that they can run around. So it's not like you every corner. the size of it. Yeah, we're not yeah. talking about just a factory floor. No. There's offices. There's, you know, supply room. I mean, there's a lot there that it, when you watch the trailer, yeah, you do get kind of impression like we're talking about her hiding in one side of the factory floor. They're there. She hides in the other. There might be somewhere. But no, the size of this building is pretty fucking big. And I realize this actually just now – that why the scene was so short and subtle in the offices because they like oh fuck these are people's offices we can't fuck this up <laughs> fuck it's like they up. literally rented out yeah. a, a a warehouse that closes down for the weekend yeah and like okay this is the only time to go guys this is, or or they filmed it over multiple there's nights. not a lot of uh, destruction of property, <laughs> property in this well and that's one that's one not or use of all the it's a woodworking place people where this takes place it's a woodworking facility yeah there is a lot. Of amazing, glorious power tools that could cause so many awesome deaths that I feel like they couldn't utilize because of that yeah. same reason. You gonna buy the thing? Yeah, you broke it. You, <laughs> you bought can, it. Yeah, you can take it apart if you want to. You know, use it to cut some prosthetics, but and then it's yours, fucking yours. After that, like, yeah, like the whole like setting one of them on a giant table saw. Yeah, would have been rad, but it also kind of fits with this character because our main character Karen, which now. There's been enough years that hearing the name Karen, you're waiting for our main character to be outside of a supermarket yelling because she has to wear a mask. Being a cunt. Yeah. Being a cunt. Yeah. And I have to remember, oh, wait, that is an actual name. It's not yeah, <laughs> the yeah, tag. Yeah, yeah. There are people with the name Karen. Yeah. But she's 
not of the action star, like, uh, you know, she had years of training in the military and now is prepared for it. No, she is literally just like, I got this new fucking job where I'm cleaning this whole factory by, my, by I'm myself. In, I'm in the place by myself. Yeah. You got eight hours, get the floors clean, shit yeah. like that. So I think that kind of works with this kind of setup where she's not prepared for this. She's, no. She's literally, there's times where she kind of lucks out on, on some kills. She is able to utilize what she knows, which is, oh, and you put this chemical with this chemical, it could fuck some shit up. But we're not talking about like she was a former Navy SEAL who you know, knew it. everything like, was like even luck. John, John McClane was a cop. He had some yeah. training. Yeah. She, I one of the things that really appealed to me about this movie is she doesn't have that action star um, background or body type or, or physique. Any, she looks yeah, like physique, a yeah. normal when she's running. Woman. She's running like quote unquote normal. You know what I mean? Like average, like average body build. There's, it's not like it's, even in your necks, that chick looked fit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like she looked like I'm exactly. gonna. I, and then and even they, with that, she had training. Like she grew up. Like you know, her, that's what I'm saying. She yeah. still had training. So it's like they they uh, use the archetype of had training. Physicality matches the fact she had training. Yeah, this girl's like I've had no training. I am a single mother. Uh, like, no. <laughs> I mean, quick, and it's a very basic premise, and is, you know. Well, I like how, I like how it unfolds. So the basic premise, the basic, basic premise we get is single mother, uh, daughter is apparently sick at the time, and has a shitty neighbor watching her kid, but she needs to fucking work this She's shitty got night it. shift. And it's a you desperation. Know? You can pick yeah. up on the desperation, because yeah. the neighbor is such a, a fucking bitch, bitch man. God that damn. I think under normal circumstances, you would not have this person in charge of watching your child, but she has no choice. It's You're a looking job. for anything. Yeah. And I need help, right? Like, That's literally, what she's she's like, Now, did you have her do this? She's like, I don't know. I think she fucking ate. Like, the, the, this is the worst fuck? fucking sitter ever. Terrible. She's like, did you... Did and like, the sitter had you, kids. She literally, can you check her temperature? She's like, really? Like, that's a hassle. And the sitter had kids. Yeah. Like, had her own kids. Yeah, but she gives two shit shits. Bag. No, I'm pretty sure that was a statement on it. Like, that's how she treats her own kids. Yeah. She just is a yeah. shit bag. Yeah. Like, she's a shit person. Yeah. So it's like, she's this is a terrible scenario, and she's just trying to first clean up that, this entire yeah, first fucking day on the job, wood shop. The guy that's showing her is kind of being shit. He, like, literally- He got she, nice at the end, though. He, 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 he got nice at the end, down a little bit. but she takes a call while he's showing her stuff about her kid. She goes, I'm sorry, my kid's sick, so I'm just making sure. And he's like- you know, personal calls aren't a thing. Well, no, he, do. he did say uh, boss doesn't care about your personal time and, exactly. and you know, blah blah blah. I'm like, God damn, dude, is a kid sick kid. Yeah. Man. The fuck? Like just like a minute phone call. I'm not gonna like... be late for bowling, am I? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, maybe I'll get there and still have wings. Like all he cares about is getting there for the wing special yeah. and playing and bowling. Yeah. That's all he cares about. And yeah, I mean, she's literally the only person in this warehouse and they they show you the size of the place because you get a little montage of her starting cleaning. And you just see all these places, and all these different internal roll-up doors yeah. to isolate places, right? And you get one scene as she's there, all the workers are just about done, but she goes in the bathroom to start before everybody's left, and she has an interaction with two of the employees right before they're about to leave, and they pretty much let you know they know her, and mm -hmm. they fucking hate her. And now you know that she is in the, process, in the middle of a divorce. Yep. She served papers to the dude. The ex, yeah, on the work site, and that's what they have a problem with. Yeah, they're definitely this. It's a kind of a small town ma mentality. Yeah. of well, it's a small I, town, but yeah, yeah. I was gonna say of of like that's our buddy, and you, you just, fucked him you over. Just, no, it's like you disrespected him. Yeah, it wasn't even just like fucked him over by divorcing him. It was like you disrespected him by you showed up at his job. Yeah, on the construction site and handed him paper. Where the one guy that's talking shit and he's up in her fucking face, and he and uh, you're almost expecting uh, him to fucking do something. Yeah, but as he walks away, she's. Started cleaning the bathroom, just hocks up and spits right on the fucking mirror, oh, like yeah. fucking clean up my shit. Fucking gross. Yeah. What, both of them are douchebags. But just... it kind of you feel for like she has a job that you really feel like is just out of desperation, it's like some way to make money. Some way to make money. Yeah, her kids with somebody that should not be in charge of her. Fucking clearly, kid. I would say in that marriage she wasn't working. Yeah, I feel like. He was bringing. He was the main worker. She was doing the yeah at home thing. So like she was like, I just need to get a fucking job. Yeah. They don't. They don't tell you that. That's just the feeling I got by like the fact she took just this job. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I need to somehow support myself now because that sh that asshole's out of the out of the picture. Right? Yeah. There's no. It's just all everything in the beginning of this movie is like her life 
is not awesome and she's dealing with some shit, but she's pushing, trying to push herself through for her kid. Like she's got to have this job. She's got to bring in money. Yeah, obviously she was, you know, she talks about rents running late. So this is out of desperation. Yeah. This is not like, yeah, this 100%. is, this is a goal job. This is what I want. It's a janitor service at a factory in which she's in charge of the building. That's fucking huge. Like, yeah. And so, and it's like, lock all the doors. You're the only person in here. And, then there's just a cleaning montage, again, showing you the size of the place. The last good scene in that film that has any positivity is when she's eating her lunch and she sees the note from her daughter. Yeah. yeah. And after that, oh, so, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Knock, knock, knock on the door. Yeah. Hey, I got a package I got to deliver. Oh, you're all alone? Yeah. Oh, okay. And, and, he, and it literally, and this is where, meh, you know, um, kind of like in Ghostbusters, when asked if you're a god, say yes. Mm -hmm. When asked... In a giant factory with the random ass motherfucker showing up in the middle of the night, are you there by yourself? The answer, positively, without any pauses, nope. There's a bunch of motherfuckers in this building. But he wasn't random. He wasn't random. Wasn't we learned random. that. We learned that later on. But no, from the start, he she answers, dude. "Yes, I'm by myself." Oh wait, no, there's people there. But he already picks up. You just fucking lied to me. Well, I mean, there's people in the back. Yeah, no, he was the dude who checked out, who clocked out when she was waiting for the dude to come grab her to show her her job and he like walked by her yeah like she we saw him that was the first person we saw besides her in the movie yeah but like she didn't she, recognize yeah him. but i'm just and, saying like right there like that's a, a question you should instantly answer as nope there's a bunch of people here like yeah she didn't help her case by saying no there was oh wait no there's people in the back but you could tell and he could tell for sure shit well, before no, before remember before that she saw when she would took the first time she took all the trash out she saw a van that van yes and like there. if you uh, like they they made a point to stare at the van and I think you could almost see someone you could see somebody moving yeah in the van but not in the in the passenger seat but no, like in, in the, the back, back area yeah, yeah yeah you could see that yeah okay I, I know I wasn't crazy I was like there's shit yeah there's happening yeah there, you have something there which so. was very very well done right I mean that yeah. was a very well done shot just because it's like so, it was subtle. It's not obvious. Mm -hmm. It's like you have, let your you eyes have to stare with her yeah. and look at the van. So you then you question like, well, if you stare at something long enough, is your eyes fucking with are you? you? Are you telling yourself, oh, yeah. there's my there? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you know, moving forward, the story ends up being like five motherfuckers. Well, four break in. One dude's standing guard outside. Yeah, they chain up all the fucking doors, and they're trying to kill her. Like yep. there is no explanation why they break into this place. They are trying to kill her, and they are like. <laughs> relentlessly trying to kill her. Yeah. Um, I think we could go into some of the... Uh, so th there is a lot of the cat and mouse and her running and the shit she has to go through from like hanging from things, running through fucking uh, shelving and, uh, you know, just to try to get away from them. There's it, It's definitely kind of cool taking advantage of how the setup of the factory is with, you know, the shelving, her kind of climbing up the shelf. Like, like you would have a fucking Home Depot and shit like that. Yeah, like yeah. these large fucking ones. And you, uh, you know, it's funny you mention that because I remember when I was wa I was watching the film in the theater, I was like, "Man, this is like an equalizer setup." Because at the end of the equalizer, it, it's I was like, the exact same <laughs> thing, man. Yeah, it was serious like yeah. that. Except she doesn't have the training to grab anything possible and make them yeah. slashing people's fucking or throats. set it up or anywhere in the store where yeah. like he can bring them towards him Dude, and just fucking. I'm so happy you brought it up because I thought that I was, movie. I that thought, movie's it's a so guilty good. pleasure so and that last 20 minutes of, of equalizer it's is so, so awesome, much fucking dude. fun it's so much fun dude. yeah <laughs> but yeah it is like that yeah so 100%. but their main goal is is we're in here and you get the slight mention right be uh before the guy that's training her leaves that hey make sure everything's secure there's been break-ins the factory down the road got broken into the other night so you think it's the same crew so you initially, set up. initially yeah, you, set up. you think it's the same and these, crew and these guys come in Fully masked up in that kind of, um, I'm trying to think of how to describe it, but like that kind of military style, skull. like military skull, skull mask. mask. Yeah. Kind of like what you had in um, a fucking Captain America. Oh, crossbones? Crossbones. Kind of yeah. like crossbones. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah, the best yeah, way yeah. Kind of like crossbones. It. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one thing I got to give this movie big props for is they utilize the mask. And we yeah. talked about that leaving the theater where like there's a scene where, you know, they, they track her to the break room and she is literally hiding under a table and. They found the note that she that her daughter left her on the ground, and someone kneels down and he's wearing the mask. He doesn't lift the mask up. He's still wearing the mask, keeping his face covered, and he picks it up and reads it. 
and he's literally at the eye side level by side. side by side with her. But because he's wearing the mask, the peripheral sh- fucked up, and he can't see her. And I appreciate that. That was so good. Because some was people so might good. be like, "Why didn't he fucking see her?" But you wear one of those masks. It's like, you're have seeing... you ever worn a mask? Like, yeah. dude, it you're fucks seeing your shit what's up. right in front of you. Yeah, but their sides, you're not seeing shit, dude. There's sometimes wearing a hoodie fucks with me because it cuts off my yeah. peripheral. When you're wearing a mask, <laughs> you have and, like, and some movies nothing forget that that happens to you. Yeah. So I like that they took yeah. this approach and said, "Yeah, no, it makes sense." And it's intense because you know you think he's gonna, the I thought slightest he, turn to yeah, the left, yeah. she's dead in the water. Or he looks up, like anything, anything. Yeah. Because if he looked up, he could have caught something. Yeah. You know? And you have several moments like that where they're right fucking next to her or on top of her. But because of those masks that they commit to wearing to hide their identity, she's able to get away. You know a movie that fails with the mask wearing thing that, and I still love the movie. But, I know you're next. I was about it to fuck. fails with that and shit, And this dude. is kind of a you're next, but in a factory. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw that out but there. But I will say, you're next failed with the with that, that whole aspect of the mask. Mm-hmm. Again, love the fucking film still. I forgave it because everything else about the movie is amazing. Yeah. But they did fail with that, you There's know? There's a few things with you're next and this that kind of match up. Yeah. You know, she tricks one of them mm. using a wire. Okay. Okay. Can we Can we talk about that death? Where not only did she trick him with a wire, and she had to double back. Remember, yeah. like because he, he figured he, he figured he, it he out. Around. Well, he doesn't figure it out, but she wants him to chase him going one way down this, and he aisle. follows her the and other. He follows her another aisle. Yeah, but then she's like backs around. But you know one yeah. thing she's lucky about? She picked the guy of the certain height because yeah. if he's a little bit shorter, it takes the mask off. But she got that yeah. right where you want to get. Oh, it. and it was a deep slit right into the throat. Yeah, and, but oh my god, so. Like, not only is he bleeding out on his stomach, she fucking gets on his back and starts pumping the blood out of his throat. As if you had a juice box. As if you had a juice box and you were stomping it. (laughs) She's juice boxing the fuck out of this dude and making sure he is bleeding out in such an efficient way where she is pushing down. She's literally like you had a juice box. (laughs) You're pushing out all that juice. And you just see from on the, uh, because you're you're looking at a bird's eye view down at her and you just see blood splurting off to the right. Like just every time she pumped oh, man. that shit was hysterical that was awesome that was so good and something I'll be honest you don't really see you see the kill run away she's like nah uh you're dead just, you just in case you're gonna bleed out bleed slow. out motherfucker let's get this shit out fast <laughs> I love that scene man like w- I couldn't imagine being in that situation and like actually thinking of to do that. Yeah, but that is so smart. That's what I'm saying. It's so smart. And again, she doesn't have any training. Like you know, when taking out a victim, make sure to push the blood. She's just like. I need to make sure this dude is not going to be a problem because yeah. he's a big guy. He might take a while to bleed, and yeah. she doesn't know how far in he cut his throat. So, yeah, push that shit out. Well, if anything, the first time she saw the squirt, it's like, oh, yeah, it's deep. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't even the first death. The first death was with the fucking toilet. The, <laughs> fucking, the, fucking, the fucking plunger. No, 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 no. The first one is the dumbass motherfucker who she had the thing wrapped around her leg, and he's trying to pull her. She cuts it. He's right on the edge because then he falls down the stairs. Because oh, she does, that's right. she does her a la John McClane, where he dies and she puts on his thing. You know, that's right. Like, that's right. One of your guys has died. Broke his neck. Yeah. yeah. One, I, you know, leave now, and you know, yeah. and almost like hoping that's gonna work. And they're like, yeah, fuck, it's one guy. Yeah. Like they know that yeah. she's by herself, and they're like, you can try to talk us out of talk about us leaving. But we're not fucking going. But mm-hmm. I like that. She wrote on his fucking shirt, I'll, uh, now I have yeah. a machine gun. Now I have a machine gun. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even think of that. That is totally, yeah. Now, now you have the plunger motherfucker Bugger. later on. Dude, that that's shit. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Because I kept making that noise. Like, <laughs> 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 fucking. We're, we were trying not to laugh so hard that they had to ruin it for I them. know. Because there was an old couple behind me. There was a few other people. they were, yeah. like, cool. I feel like they were, like, they would have been cool, but, like, Cause she even mentioned like when like uh um there's a ball kick yeah and woman's like yeah I'm like no I'm okay she's cool yeah but I'm also like I don't want to be too you don't obnoxious know you don't if know they know what they're going into yeah. and then the madness boys are in there fucking cheering on some cool deaths I mean yeah. we'll yeah. just throw it out there <laughs> dude I was this uh, dude that plunger death I I fucking cheered and that and that fucking <laughs> juice box death juice box death that shit yeah. Was fucking... <laughs> and that's the thing with this movie is that uh... a lot of it's just what's around me at the time of shit happening. Dude, we get a scene later on where the, the, there's a reveal 
and this person says, no, I'm here for you, bitch, mm -hmm. and breaks her fucking hands, oh, like, slams it down. Yeah. So yeah. she's lost the ability to control her fingers because they're fucking broken, but she's like, that's not going to stop me. Fucking packing tape around a hammer. But hold on, hold on. She hits him in the back of there with a hammer, and then it's just stuck. because she's got all that blood on her hands. It yeah. just shoink, yeah, and it's just stuck in the back of his head. Yeah, <laughs> and, but oh. I love the fact that like that was something like again, you're just using what's around, and she's desperate, and at this point she can't fucking hold anything, mm -hmm. so she fucking just tapes a fucking hammer with the fucking. Uh, oh wait, no, before that, remember she chokes the shit out of that dude. That's right. Remember he's like. They're like they make it outside on the loading dock, and they're in the the trailer of a truck, and he and she like wraps a cord around him, and he's like trying to lean forward and fight. Use an extension she, cord, wraps yeah. around him, and then and takes, she puts her foot on his back so he can't lean back to get out of yeah. it. Yeah. So she he, she's just choking the shit but out. But remember, him. she takes a stick and wraps it into the cord, and keeps twisting and it, uses it to and, twist oh. it to break it. So that's what I'm saying. This movie has oh, a lot so of good. like. Janitorial experience kills it. It's the best way I can put it, man. Janitorial <laughs> like, experience. Like, janitors use fucking stagic cords. They can figure that shit out. Yeah. 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 Now, there was a, I mean, oh, and then when she got stabbed in her gut in the break room and she had to, like, try to, f like, she taped, she used backing tape yep. to tape the thing yeah. around uh, her shirt around her gut. Like, so much DIY. <laughs> Why, like, I need to make it out of here. Yeah. I can't bleed oh, out. They fuck her up. And Dude, so yeah, she, she gets, gets fucked up. Yeah. It's Both not her hands like, broken. Fucking, she's like the she gets, cut on her stomach, and I mean, like she's yeah, like she didn't fucking gut, bleed. Dude. It was out. like some gut. It was some gut level shit, yeah. dude. And I love is she finds some fucking those generic ass cheap paper towels, those white ones you would put in the fucking bathroom one. That's mm. what she used to soak it up. It's not like you know she finds some like really heavy duty shit. No. <laughs> it's the cheap fucking paper towels. She's like, let me use this, and then some fucking packing tape, and wrap that bitch around. You know, like mm -hmm. I like the. Everything that she uses is practical in this fucking movie. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, that would be there. Yeah, and before I think the first thing she had to use was uh, be the clothing because remember she uh, she got she cut herself on her leg. Yep. Yeah. Getting away, but because remember, remember the blood drip gave her away at one point. Yeah. Which was a really cool thing because in a dead silence, blood dripping down from a height hitting metal would totally make a noise. Like, where the fuck did that come from? Yeah. Right. Like, so everything in the film was believable. I feel like. Um, and there's some pretty intense scenes where yeah. they're like, like we said earlier, they're like right there. Like there's a part where she's hanging off and literally the only thing keeping her from falling, it's like what probably like what a 15 foot drop or whatever like that. And she's hanging off the side. He's stepping so, on her fucking foot. And the only thing holding her up is a, is a random fucking nail, a nail that's holding her weight and you can see it bending. And he's, as he moves out to look even further, yeah, he's stepping on her foot and you're like, Oh, her hands. Her oh, yeah, fingers. Her, her fingers. Her yeah, that's right. Fingers. And he's just looking there, and it's not even, it's just the tip of his shoe. Oh, he's shoe. taking a sweet ass time. And he's looking and around. Then he stops and looks back. You're like, yeah. Dick, get the fuck and out of here. Just watch that nail, and you're like, is mm, that bitch about to fucking die? Yeah. Yeah. yeah now that, you got to talk about the way they built the suspense up, right? Yeah. It, oh, I mean, because every scene when they're looking for her, when they think they know where she is, oh, that, that scene when there's, she's in that like human like height box. And she is on the ground, and then someone else stops the guy who's looking around that area, and they have a conversation, and he, she hears him walk away, but I guess she, she's not stupid. And he starts to walk back because he didn't check that one box, yeah. and she's bracing herself in the fucking top of it. Yeah. I'm like, that was, that that was, was, pretty, cool. That was Plus, pretty cool. you have some movies where like, you'll know they're in the stall, the fourth stall over, yeah, yeah. and they knock at the first door, they knock at the second door, and knock at the third, and they get to the fourth, and like, then a distraction happens. And they go, okay, and you go, man, they got away. But he comes back to that saying. fucking box right after like, he's like, okay, you talk to me? All right, I'm not done checking every one of them. And yeah. you're like, she's fucked. And she just literally spiders herself up to the such, fucking top was, of that, that box. That was rad. Yeah. That was rad. Um, Again, so, so many beats, diehard beats. You know. Yeah. And when I describe that scene, I'm thinking, what else does that sound like? Oh, yeah, when he's in the fucking vent and the dude fucking is pushing up with his gun. And, and like, he gets to hey, the- yeah. yeah. But, but he doesn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is saved that's McLean's thing. life. Realistically, if yeah. it, with this movie, he would have come over and go, let me just push this last part of the vent before I go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, all right. I think that, uh, anything else you think to wrap, talk about with this film, uh, highlight-wise? I mean, there's a pretty big spoiler that I don't know if we want to reveal. Do we want to? I mean, because I feel like that's... Let's just say this, because I guess it's still, it was in theaters, it comes yeah, out. It's... We're going to hold off on the main one, but... 
there's a little bit of misdirection that you find at the end that I yeah. really appreciate. And you pick up on something during our, her phone call. Exactly. That matters lot, in the end. Like I said, not only does the film grow as far as from slow burn to high intensity with the killer aspect and the and the people break you know locking the building and, and hunting her there's also a build of her personal story yeah uh that, and it ties in so it's really cool it's really cool yeah i think I that's mean, enough of a spoiler this, right like that, yeah. that's a, that, like this that. definitely leans i think into more thriller than than horror but it's got some good kills it's got some good intense moments so i'd put it like I don't know. The deaths the, make it a horror. Okay, I'm sorry. The deaths make it a right. fucking like. Well, you know, it goes into fucking, what would you categorize something like "Don't Breathe"? It's a, it's still a horror, but it's like a suspense yeah, horror. I would put it yeah. kind of in that category. That's a good point. Yeah, it's, it's definitely more like "Don't Breathe." Yeah. Yes. The more so the with, first one with actually a few more kills. Yeah. Than don't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. But the suspense and "Don't Breathe" was fucking sick. Yeah. See? But like, I'm saying yeah. there's a lot with that too because mm-hmm. again, these guys aren't blind, but their mask blind them to some obvious exactly. shit. Exactly. So that was really cool. So, all right, uh, that's it. We're done. We're not going to full blow on blow up the movie for you guys, but hope we give you enough of a teaser uh, for it to, you know, at least want to go see it. But to get our verdict, you're going to have to stay tuned right after you hear about what's going on in the GUI world. In a world with too many reboots and remakes, two men will stop at nothing to make it even worse. Join Mike the Hobbit and Tondi as they play by their own rules while pitching new takes on some of your favorite and least favorite films and TV shows. What podcast would dare to bring this upon the world? This is Smack My Pitch Up. My name is Amy Bogard. And I'm Mike the Hobbit. And we are the hosts of Deeply Upsetting, where we use our expertise to answer your most upsetting hypothetical quandaries, such as what non wigged animal deserves wings? And what body part deserves a secret mouth? Which cryptid is the worst roommate? These questions and more that plague you will be answered on Deeply Upsetting, available anywhere you get your podcasts and at GUIPodcast.com. Coming straight from the mouths of madness, I'm Lowdown. I'm F.U. Hunter. Do you love horror? We fucking do. So this is a podcast dedicated to all things in cinematic horror. We're talking movies, television, composers, special effects artists. We're going to fucking cover it. So if you love horror, embrace the madness. Hey guys, Scotty P here with Smash on your left. And we are the Geek Fathers. That's right, bringing all the trials and tribulations of being a geeky parent. So welcome to our world. And as always, join us or cry. In a world of blockbuster movies, there's another dimension. The dimension of schlock cinema. Join us at Beautiful Disasters on a journey into the fringe territory of B-Movie Abandon. We review the flicks that are forgotten or underappreciated to give them a proper place in the annals of celluloid history. I'm the Groots. F.U. Hunter. Your guides at Beautiful Disasters. Come along with us for a fun ride. May May the the schlock be with you. All right, so, I mean, it passed for me. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I, it's, like, it was a fun romp, dude. It was good times. I'll probably pick it up. I think I want to show. Passes. And again, there's small things that you just don't even think about that they kind of put in this movie, like the juice boxing scene. Dude, oh my you god, that's like that's so good. That and the plunger, yeah. is just so good because remember she, he's like not dead and he's kicking the sink, yeah, and then she's like fuck and she's like plunge the shit out of him. <laughs> It's fucking ridiculous. So this is something I, I'd I'd want to show to other people. I want to. I, I I would own it. Yeah, it's a fun movie. Like yeah. I could rewatch this movie. Like again, we put kind of some of those movies in that category of like get some people over. Yeah, this is one of those where they could, they could, if they really some cared, good kills, but you can honestly everybody can sit and watch it, and it's it's a crisp like I think what one forty one forty five. It was like it was like one. It was like right at yeah. one thirty one twenty eight. It knows yeah. it knows little intro and just. Start it up and just let it flow. And it knew how to end. Yeah. It actually landed on the ending. It was like, yeah. all right, that's it. 
That's so I, I I I definitely say it passes. Oh yeah, there's another, there's oh that's right because the oh yeah we literally did not give you not only the spoiler for the twist but there's like another thing that's really fucked up when like someone's yeah dude yep yep you need to, yeah watch it it's because like I forgot about that and that was like really hard to watch that like <laughs> fucking, <laughs> oh yeah no they did a great job with this oh, another another example of what you could do with like little budget one set. Yeah. They probably filmed it, it over it, a couple it nights. It looks like they worked it out, renting this, or you know, saying, "Hey, because it's all at night. It's all at night. A la, it's cler- like, hey, a la clerks for a month. Can we come in here at night? We're not affecting your daily operations. We're not using the tools. Yep. Which at first, I remember walking out. I did say that was a waste of because that final kill. Right. I was like, oh, there's a whole thing right there. Yeah, you know, but. Like I'm actually not mad about it, you know. But, but I'm like the, but the, just, the it's whore one in me. Setting. We never go anywhere else besides the factory, and you know what? I didn't ever think it affected the movie in any way. And, and no, it was only because not... you're going from her perspective. She gets to her job, and it's from her. Mm-hmm. I like said so the only thing that I had to kind of wrap my head around was the fact that we're not going to get any super cool deaths from the multitude of death machines yeah. that are in this building. Yeah, because there was a fuck ton. Yeah. Like, it's very tawny. My fucked, it's up, tawny. my fucked up brain's like, oh, that, 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 oh, definitely you, that. You, like, you I'm just like. You can impale one of them with that, and <laughs> yeah, that can like, definitely take off some body yeah, part. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, especially as a scene where they turn, she to just, for a distraction, she turns a bunch on, and I'm like, oh, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, spo- that, is, that is one spoiler you can get. There is, there, you know, because obviously. They're renting this. They don't own this business. Maybe they'll They're make a. Maybe business. they'll make a sequel. It'll be Hunter kill her to the machinery. You know. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that's it. That's done. It passes. It survived the chopping block. It was. It was. It was another good one. Um, I'm hoping the rest of this year pans out like we've gotten so far this year. Seriously. Because um, so far this year it's been it's been good. Yeah. It's been solid. So until we talk to you again, embrace the madness. Podcast.com.